Hello everyone, this is Saad from Pakistan. Welcome to StrapiConf. I'm a cloud architect at Royal Cyber and here at Royal Cyber, we are dealing with the major cloud providers like GCP, AWS, Azure. Uh, we have uh, multiple products and services for commerce, for Salesforce, data analytics, big data, uh, and much more. The topic of my uh, conference today is the Strapi mobile client, and I'm very happy to announce the release. So we have been really, uh, receiving a lot of queries for the mobile version of the Strapi admin, and today is the day when I'll be talking about it. So we have uh, the agenda as follows, the Strapi mobile client, I'll be explaining what it is, how it is made. Uh, we'll discuss the features. Uh, we'll discuss about the communication architecture, how the mobile app is actually communicating with the Strapi instance. Uh, I'll show a short demo and we'll see uh, what's next planned on our roadmap for the mobile app. So the Strapi mobile client is based on uh, Google's uh, framework Flutter, which is made for cross-platform mobile application development, uh, which means that a single code base for the Strapi mobile client will run for the Android platform as well as the iOS platform. The design system of the uh, mobile client is based on version 4 standards. Uh, as you can see in the screenshots on my screen, uh, you have the login screen, the media libraries, uh, and you know a lot more of all the features of the admin are available on the mobile app uh, in uh, on the web as you can see on your strapi admin uh, we have uh, two sets of menus on the left hand side one is the primary menu and then we have a secondary menu uh, relevant to the selected uh, choice so uh, on the mobile we have incorporated the secondary menu as the uh, right hand side menu on your mobile app and the primary menu is just like a drawer on any uh, mobile app the features so we have two features over here one uh, are the native ones and the existing ones so uh, in the existing features we have the login mechanism we have the content management uh, the what the content type management you have like the view records add and edit records we have the media library for managing your media content for uploading new media uh, we have the settings which uh, has uh, you know a whole bunch of all the different settings which you can see on your mob, uh, on your web uh, we have those on the mobile as well so we have uh, a you know a few features which are only native to the mobile client uh, for example right now we have the uh, a list view and a grid view so basically the it is very easy to represent uh, a lot of data in tabular form on the web uh, in the form of a grid where you have you know those filters and a lot of other things which you already know on the strapi admin uh, however on the mobile side what we have done is we have incorporated a new uh, layout for the uh, viewing your uh, content uh, of, of the content types so that is the list view so in list view we have you know uh, the, we have that image you know it looks good uh, as an image without any horizontal scrolls uh, since the mobile screen is has a very limited space so uh, it's you know it's better uh, with the user experience point of view that uh, with respect to you know instead of using the grid we are using the list view well uh, this is optional you can change the layouts i'll show you in the demo the architecture how it works how the communication is happening between the uh, mobile client and the uh, server so i'll sh show you so uh, under the hood the strapi admin has actually two sets of apis so one of uh, one api is the one uh, for the rest uh, apis which are exposed by your content types uh, which has been extensively documented on the strapi docs uh, so those APIs are for consuming, you know, the REST API of your Strapi collections. However, there is an admin APIs, you know, that's a whole set of APIs. If anyone wants access to uh, those APIs, I have a whole Postman collection. So if anyone wants that, so please reach out to me. I'll be happy to share whatever I have collected. So as an example, I've used the admin login. So uh, for the admin API, the login API is actually the slash admin slash login with the body. 
so this is exactly the same as you have on the web and this is also the same for the mobile so uh, here i'll mention one thing that uh, the mobile client is totally dependent on your hosted version of Strapi. Uh, there is no data collected in the local or nor on any other service. So uh, if you want to proceed with the mobile client, you have to provide your Strapi admin, uh, you know, details uh, on the login form. So we have the admin URL, uh, the email and the password, just like you have on the web let's go for a demo all right i have an emulator set up over here i have uh, for the purpose of this demo i'm using the strappy food advisor app uh, which is running in the background so i have uh, you know put in the details for this uh, i believe food advisor app has all the features to present uh, the power of strappy so uh, this is why i'm using this right now i'll just click on login so we have this beautiful dashboard as per the version 4 standards we have the primary menu with the content with the media library plugins marketplace settings i'll go through each in this demo let's go to content types we have the contents over here as you can see uh, the grid layout so on the right is the secondary menu we have all the content types and the single types uh, on the secondary menu uh, you can see the articles you know these this is horizontal scrollable uh, and here is the one which i was talking about the list view so this is interchangeable you can see the grid and you can see the list so we have those images and things like that over here you will have the settings uh, where you can you know uh, check your uh, like, just like you know manage the view we have this over here so uh, let me show you the media library so we have all the media over here uh, you can open your media check out the details of each media and uh, let's see the settings we have the basic settings when you come on the settings page on your web is actually the application information so this is how we are showing on the uh, mobile application uh, in the secondary menu you have all the different menus uh, you can see the localization you have the application you have the administrative roles uh, you can see the user permission roles over here you have the advanced settings Where is that all right so this is exactly like your uh, web version uh, with version 4 standards let's discuss what we have in our roadmap so currently uh, as of today we have the uh, mobile client in the view only mode uh, that means you can view your records and view all the settings uh, however uh, in our roadmap which we are working right now we have a team uh, which is you know uh, i'll mention the names uh, later on this uh, session so uh, we plan to uh, add the feature for add and editing records uh, we want to add the feature for uh, media uploading which is currently under development and uh, the notifications plugin so talking about the notifications plugin we are going to develop uh, a bunch of uh, plugins for the mobile client which you will be able to manage on the web let's say for the notifications plugin uh, we want you have um, a, a e-commerce site working on strapi so for that you need to uh, you want some uh, push notification when a new order arrives so this is the plugin which we are developing so that you know you can connect it with your mobile client and it will you know uh, will give this capacity and there are lots of more features which we can di discuss that's it for today uh, thank you guys for having me and it was a pleasure talking to all you guys i'm available online uh, in the discord channels uh, so please reach out to me if you have any queries i'll be happy to answer i like to mention the names of the guys who are working who are working with me on this rashid wasan and huzafa mujahid uh, they have worked a lot on this um, i'm reachable through linkedin and discord or twitter uh, that's it for today thank you guys and see you in the next one